Hi guys, and today I'm going to show you how to install MS Paint for uh, your Mac computer. So let's uh, let's get started. All right, so I've prepared a few of the files that you're going to need, actually all of them, um, and then a few extra. Um, but before we get started, let's go over some of the basic dependencies. The first and potentially most important uh, dependency is the XQuartz, which is the the X Window system. Um, if you've got, uh, I think, let's see what it says here. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, if you've got some older versions of Mac OS X, you're actually not going to need to install this. You can just search, um, you know, X11 and then see if something comes up. Otherwise, in my case, I think I can search X Quartz and you can see that this comes up. So I've got this installed 2.7.6 which is the newest version and you guys are going to, need to do the same so just download this it's going to take it's going to take a few minutes it's a pretty big file um, and then come back once you've downloaded and installed that uh, the next thing you're going to need is uh, wineskin winery so yep there it is which is this app here so you're going to need to download and install that and then the first time you see it's going to say no no engines installed so just go ahead and add plus and whatever the new one, and just download, and install, and let that go, uh, and then update this if it's not, you know, if it's not the newest one. And what we're going to do is first, you need to download two files. You need to download this file, so just go ahead and hit standard download, let that download. And then you're also going to need this one, so you just hit standard download, let that download. I've got them already in my downloads folder, so I've got this one. The uh, this icon is this file right here, and then this exe is this one right here. And for the people who are wondering how we're going to make a uh, Windows app run on Mac, uh, that's where this uh, Wineskin Winery comes in. Uh, Wine is um, a Windows program emulator designed for uh, basically everything except for Windows to run Windows programs. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So the first thing we're going to do is just select the, uh, the newest one you've got, the wrapper version, and then create a new blank wrapper. Let's call it MS Paint, and then you can do that, and then just wait. It's going to take a minute to actually create the blank wrapper, and then it's going to ask us if we want to uh, to view it in Finder. Go ahead and allow this. It's just asking if uh, if Wines Connect 11, uh, you know, can accept uh, internet connections. If it can connect to the internet, just go ahead and say yes because you're actually going to, need to download some extras from that later. Um, and if you don't do that, then I'm not really sure if it wouldn't work. But I have a feeling that something might go wrong with that. So just let that go ahead and run. You can see there's two here. Once this goes away, um, and it's going to pop up a little dialogue asking us, would you like to, would you like to run, or would you like to view it in Finder? And then just say yes. But, uh, oh, there it is. Okay, would you like to view in Finder? Okay, so there it is. Real quick. Before I go any further, for all the people that are thinking this is, you know, for all the people that are thinking this is a lot of work, I don't want to do this, blah, blah, blah. Well, I've, I've created um, a DMG. I, I uploaded a version of the app that I compiled myself. Um, all you would need is to install this right here, uh, then download this, uh, download this one, double click on it, and just open the, uh, the volume that comes up. In Finder, and then copy the uh, the app to your your apps, and you can try and run it. I'm not really sure if it would work, and in fact, I'm almost sure it, it wouldn't work with a lot of your machines, which is why I'm having you compile it yourselves. Um, but if you want to give that a try, that's always an option. Um, links for this page, this page, and this page are going to be in the description below. Uh, so if anybody is wondering and trying to copy them off the screen, don't don't do that. I'll I'll put them down. I'm not a mean person. <laughs> Okay, so you can go ahead and, and close Wineskin Winery. Uh, we don't need that anymore, per se. And we can go ahead and, well, okay, let's go back real quick. Whoops. So just go ahead and right-click on this once it says, once you hit Show in Finder. And then go ahead and it's, it's Show Package Content. So it's the second option, uh, Show Package Content. And then go ahead and double-click on this one right here and then open that. Uh, hit the install software button because we're going to be using uh, this exe to install the software. So yep, choose setup executable which is conveniently in my downloads folder. Yay. 
So that's going to run. That's going to open up. Um, can I go ahead and just hit custom and then these two should be checked and then hit next. Uh, yep, go ahead next. Don't create a start menu folder because it's not going to do any good. Don't create a desktop icon. That's not going to do any good. It's just going to put a dot desktop file that I can't even use. Okay, and then don't launch PaintXP. Um, go ahead and let that finish up. It shouldn't take but a second. And then it's gonna it's gonna find a list of executable programs. This is what's gonna be normally used um, to start the application. So when you click on the icon, which is gonna be it's gonna be different. It's gonna be this icon with this F. When you click on this, whatever opens is what you select here. Uh, this is regular. This is 98, and then this is the uninstall. But just go ahead and leave it as the default and hit OK. Um, we can go to we need to go to advanced. So go back real quick. Um, so go to the advanced tab right there and then go to tools and wine tricks so um, in the DLL section go ahead and look for these two right here uh, MFC 40 and MFC 42 which are which are pretty important if you want to make the application run properly depending on what version of MS Paint you selected um, you're going to need one of these two so just go ahead and kill two birds with one stone and install both of those they're really small it's not going to take up your entire hard drive don't worry uh, let this run just kind of watch the messages down here in this little window uh, to see what it's what it's doing downloading stuff and then it's going to say uh, you know everything's been run successfully and you can you can close just ignore some of these errors it's going to tell us that stuff didn't go properly wine tricks commands finished we can close the window and we can you know use this browse button to change the icon but honestly it, it never works uh, you can do it uh, and then you can go back and go get info so it says it's changed uh, if you restart finder it might work uh, if you go and this is get information uh, you can click on this or you can do uh, command I and then just just drag this from your yep and then if you drag the icon from your downloads folder onto this one so directly over onto it not near it not above it not below it next to it directly on it see so plus and then it should change it to this so now you've got this application icon right here and you can double click on that or you can go into there so I'm just going to double click on this and then in a second here, we're going to have MS Paint open on a Mac. And uh, it actually integrates very well with the native file system. So you can, uh, you can save and open images and screw around with stuff. So first of all, we notice, as you can see up here at the top, is it's using the X11 uh, windowing system, which is what we installed uh, with this right here, uh, using the X11. So it's really important that you have that in there. Uh, just go ahead and full screen this. Oh, just play around. You can make the canvas bigger. And then let's, I'll just show you that it does indeed work. Blah, 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 blah. Do stuff. Change you know, this, whatever. Uh, you guys can do whatever you want with this. Um, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Blah blah blah. Just have fun in MS Paint on the Mac, and then you can you can save your images. You can import images. Uh, I'm not really sure how well this would work, but I'm not about to find out. You guys can mess around with that. Um, you can do some of the stuff to it. You can change your presets, maybe. I don't know. And then just close it like a normal app. All right. So quit. Whatever, and then that's it. You've got the uh, the app is here. It's in. Uh, so this is this is my user folder, right? So you can see here my user folder, and then applications, um, and then Wineskin, and then MS Paint. So you can you can move this to your applications folder if you want. So it'll be with the rest of your stuff. Otherwise, you can just leave it there uh, in that folder. It doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. Uh, and then I think Launchpad should adjust appropriately, but uh, you can also launch it from Launchpad. So you've got it in my list. I just clicked on that, and now it's going to open MS Paint for me here in a second. 
and I can run it that way too. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it. It's not very hard. Uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick tutorial because I know it's it's pretty fun to just mess around with this application. I know I used to use it a lot as a kid, so it was, it was pretty cool that I could get this on my Mac. Um, it took me a little while to figure it out, but I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, please comment, uh, like, and subscribe most of all for future videos like this one. And if there's anything that you'd really like to see or any problems that you're having, please uh, drop me a comment down below or uh, send me a message uh, through YouTube. Thanks a lot, and I will see you guys next time.